In biology, the classical doctrine of the nervous system determines that it is a highly complex part of an animal that coordinates its actions and sensory information by transmitting signals to and from different parts of its body. The nervous system detects environmental changes that impact the body, then works in tandem with the endocrine system to respond to such events. Nervous tissue first arose. However, this classical doctrine has been challenged in recent decades by discoveries about the existence and use of electrical signals in plants. On the basis of these findings, some scientists have proposed that a plant nervous system exists and that a scientific field called plant neurobiology should be created. This proposal has led to a dispute in the scientific community between those who think we should talk about the nervous system of plants and those who are against it. The inflexibility of the positions in the scientific debate on both sides has led to the proposal of a solution to the debate, consisting of redefining the concept of the nervous system by using only physiological criteria and avoiding phylogenetic criteria stay with me and don't be too too nervous ha ha ha. Invertebrates it consists of two main parts, the central nervous system, CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, PNS. The CNS consists of the brain and spinal cord. The PNS consists mainly of nerves, which are enclosed bundles of the long fibers or axons that connect the CNS to every other part of the body. Nerves that transmit signals from the brain are called motor nerves or efferent nerves, while those nerves that transmit information from the body to the CNS are called sensory nerves or afferent. Spinal nerves are mixed nerves that serve both functions. The PNS is divided into three separate subsystems, the somatic, autonomic, and enteric nervous systems. Somatic nerves mediate voluntary movement. The autonomic nervous system is further subdivided into the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems. The sympathetic nervous system is activated in cases of emergencies to mobilize energy, while the parasympathetic nervous system is activated when organisms are in a relaxed state. The enteric nervous system functions to control the gastrointestinal system. Both autonomic and enteric nervous systems function involuntarily. Nerves that exit from the cranium are called cranial nerves, while those exiting from the spinal cord are called spinal nerves. At the cellular level, the nervous system is defined by the presence of a special type of cell, called the neuron, also known as a nerve cell. Neurons have special structures that allow them to send signals rapidly and precisely to other cells. They send these signals in the form of electrochemical impulses traveling along thin fibers called axons, which can be directly transmitted to neighboring cells through electrical synapses, or cause chemicals called neurotransmitters to be released at chemical synapses. A cell that receives a synaptic signal from a neuron may be excited, inhibited, or otherwise modulated. The connections between neurons can form neural pathways, neural circuits, and larger networks that generate an organism's perception of the world and determine its behavior. Along with neurons, the nervous system contains other specialized cells called glial cells or simply GIA, which provides structural and metabolic support. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe to this spectacular anatomy channel for more bodacious videos.